You're watching KSL Television, Channel 5, Salt Lake City, Utah. This is the number one eyewitness news at 6, the news specialist. Good evening, I'm Carol Makita, in for Bruce Lindsay. And I'm Dick Norris. And later on, you'll meet a Utah man who just lived his dream vacation. He got the ride of his life aboard a Russian MiG. Stay with us. Have you made any vacation plans for this year? Hawaii, Disneyland, a camping trip maybe? Keith McCord has the story of a Salt Lake man who really got away from it all. Mike Samus showed us his vacation videos today. No beaches or campsites, just the wild blue yonder. Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> Last year, Mike saw this ad by a Florida company selling flights on Russian MiG-29 fighter jets. My first reaction was it was a new video game. So I had to, had to read through it several times to figure out that they were talking about a real experience. Mike's not a pilot, but always wanted to fly in a supersonic jet. So he shelled out 12,000 bucks and headed for Zhukovsky Air Force Base near Moscow. There's everything from just a single flight, go out that day and return to a full, I think it's a full dogfight package where they'll, they'll train you in several supersonic flights and then hook you up with a partner. Uh, and you'll have at it. Military budgets in Russia aren't what they used to be, so paying customers help to buy jet fuel and give pilots extra training. It starts with a medical check, eyes, heart, and whatever this was. And before each flight, there were briefings with the pilots who wore Top Gun hats. Do they just cool or what? I want one of these. Before flying in the MiG-29, Mike took several rides in a trainer to get used to the feel of the plane. In both the trainer and the MiG, the pilots allowed Mike to take the controls, to do spins, rolls, whatever. He said the pilots were very accommodating. And he'll keep checking with you, seeing if you're going to be airsick. You know, I commonly heard, are you Vel? Are you Vel? I'm Vel. <laughs> In four days, Mike took four rides in the trainer and one in the MiG-29. Each flight lasted about 40 minutes. Is this it? Was this the ultimate vacation for you? It, it was. It absolutely was. And for 12000 bucks, he says he'd do it all over again. Keith McCord, KSL News, Salt Lake City. No, Mike didn't get any frequent flyer bonus miles while <laughs> flying in that big 